Hey guys, it's Dalton from Dip Official, and recently I took a mission trip to Mexico. I feel like oftentimes we get a watered down point of view of culture when we haven't actually experienced it, and my trip to Mexico really opened up my eyes. I, I got a great insight of what the culture is actually like, and what the people are like. I went with three other guys, and we went to an orphanage, and a little village and we were able to provide shoes for the for the needy. We spent some time with the kids and the other people in the area and we got to know the the people and though we were not able to communicate with them because of the the language difference and I don't know Spanish and two of the other guys knew Spanish but not that much. The little communication we did make we really got to know the people and just provide help in a time of need. I could tell from the time that we got there that there was definitely some some poverty. You go a mile towards America and it's, I mean, it's luxury, it's prosperity. It's the best of the best. And you go a mile, not even a mile, over the border into Mexico and you immediately see the, the difference. You can definitely tell that there's not a lot of resources for the people there. I mean, there was houses made of pallets, tin, whatever they could get their hands on. and. It's just, it's shocking because there are billionaires that live in Mexico, yet the people live in these kind of conditions, and you're just wondering, what, does the government not see this? And obviously they do, but why is there not anything being done for the people? Why do people like us have to go over there and provide these sorts of resources for the people? The ministry goes to the same orphanage every year, and they've been doing it for about 30 years. And it's a, it's a blessing to be a part of this. As soon as we got there, the, the kids gave us a warm welcome. They were singing us Christmas carols, and they invited us to eat lunch with them. The food was awesome. And you can definitely tell that they're trying to take care of these kids to the best of their ability. And we brought in the shoes, we put them around the Christmas tree, and we started fitting the shoes in each and every individual. And you could just tell that the little thing that we were doing for them was a large blessing in their eyes and you know we tried to communicate with the kids I specifically was I downloaded Spanish Google Translate on my phone and I was trying to communicate with the kids and you know it wasn't working that well but the little bit of understanding we had of one another meant the world we horsed around with the kids uh, you know just tried to give them the best uh, best time that we could possibly give them. To sum it all up, the trip has made me very content with what I have and has helped me to realize how much I've been blessed and how much I've been given and how much I have. It has taught me to be satisfied with what I have and use any extra to bless somebody else that would need it more than me. It has taught me that I myself have so much potential to help others and I don't realize it. I mean, we went over there and we brought kids shoes. It sounds so simple yet to them it is one of the biggest things you could do. I plan on doing this again in the future. I plan on returning to Mexico any chance I have. I want to continue to bless others in need and I want to continue to see other places like this, not in the sense of seeing other people in despair, but it's just something to humble myself when I feel like I'm more than I actually am.